You're watching Felipe James Disc Golf. My name is James, happy you're here. So here in this county, we have a traveling league that meets up on Sundays and the winner of that day gets to pick the location and the format for the next week. I've missed like the last five of them, I think. And this week coming up Sunday, I'm gonna miss it as well. And they're doing a format that are like a layout here at this course that I've never done before and I'm really jealous that I'm not gonna get to play it. So today I'm going to play that nine hole alternate format with this Kristen Tatar Zero Medium Orbit Pure that Disc Golf Deals USA sent me out. They've been sending out a ton of discs. Use the link in my description. You're gonna get 10% off anything on their site. I also get a kickback so it supports the channel. If you do order something, let me know what you get. I did do a pure review with the Orbit, no, 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 Opto, the clear see-through like premium plastic, and then one of their putter plastic blends as well. I don't remember which one. So I've thrown the PR already. I did a review on it, but I wanted to find a way to incorporate this into a video since they sent it out. So we're gonna play, I think it's doubles on this Sunday coming up. So we're gonna play this disc versus my bag, or with my bag, like we're working together. I really just wanna see what I score on this alternate format to see if I like would have done well on the day I'm gonna miss. I also don't know how they're going to play certain pars for holes because we have a couple short ones, a couple long ones. It's going to be fun, especially starting off here. Hole ones, tee pad, the tens basket. We're going pure first on every shot. Oh, I didn't explain. I'll explain in a second. That was horrible. So if I was playing here Sunday, I think I'd actually throw this tempo. Not like that though, what happened? Hey, real quick, for those that are gonna play it, because this video should be out before then, it's actually a forehand. I just threw a Captain's Raptor, so I don't have that disc, but here's a, a resistor for you. Yeah, that's the play, we're parked. Let's take that one. We're going 11's tee pad to 2's basket. Ah, uh, can you see it? It's like right there. So I'm playing doubles, like the pure with my bag. And so the pure is going to get thrown, like no matter where the best shot landed. And I'm only putting with the pure though. So we only get one putt. This one, I don't know what pars are going to be. So I'm just going to count strokes. This is going to be a tough one. Like, good luck, guys. This has got to be a par four just because of the coverage. Like, tough hole, Zach. Wow. Oh, early release. So bad. Middle of the road. All right, we got to hurry. Um, I'm gonna forehand this fortress. Skip off the road? Wow, the road's farther than I think. Just did a review with this Page Fierce Drive. I think this would actually be a good one for it too. Skip off the road. Forehand skip play off the road's the play. It's a part three, if you hit it right. The road's probably gonna be OB, but not in this video. <laughs> that I... My depth perception was so off there. Uh, from looking at the basket versus the road and how discs were flying, it's definitely a par three. Oh, stay up. Ah, close. We're now at hole three's pad to one's pen. This is actually an alternate that I put in a video a while back. This uh, zero medium orbit versus the road just didn't go good. I don't know. If I hit something else for this to happen, oh yeah, sliced. Wow, that just, did it just get understable or did I finally throw it right? Over the road into some rocks, cool. I'm gonna go soft proton ohm here. Not into the road. If I wouldn't hit those trees, that would've been a great shot. This one might be a forehand too. Yeah, I I think so. Cure is getting thrashed. Oh, just over the top. I just some weird jump putt. I changed my jump putt. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Got it. I changed my jump putt, but I forgot how I changed it. That's how I do it, right there. That feels way better. I started, so like, I've seen people do like this step jumper, like that, but if you push off the back leg first, and then the front, way easier to get power and direction, in my opinion. Back onto 11's pad, there's a few holes that start here on this pad, so one of the things that might be difficult for Sunday is like picking 
where to start, which teams, because like we go out on certain cards, like not everybody plays like mob golf, you know, so there might be some overlap or running into each other, but this hole right here, super cool hole. I don't think I've ever thought of. Let's range it real quick. 11 C pads actually here with like this yellow rectangle, but we're throwing from like where this crack is because it makes, makes the most sense to me, I think. I think it makes sense. All right, to the basket. 120, hold on, we got yards here. 126.3 times three. 378.9. You gotta throw it, that's for sure. 378 downhill, what am I throwing here? Uh, I mean, the pure, <laughs> for sure. Oh shoot, great early release. I'm gonna throw this fortress that I forehanded earlier. This goes pretty straight for a long time backhand, if I hit it right. I said that twice here, this is like the hit it right spot. Slight headwind. Uh, I thought it'd flip a little bit more, but it's going, it's going, we're good. That yellow pole is actually a Mando going this way. It might be fun to play Mando, like you have to go to the right of it from here. I like it. Man, I'm so upset I'm going to be missing, missing Sunday. This is such a fun, like, alternate so far. Missed the Mando. Oh, sit down, wind. Stop it. There's kids over there. All right, I guess I get I guess I get two putts here because it's uh. I'm kind of good at throwing. Kind of good at throwing. Yeah. I guess I get two putts here because it's outside the circle. Oh, I was gonna be like I don't think I needed them. Oh. Thanks, dude. Okay, this one's super far. Uh, also, school's out, and I'm officially that weirdo with a camera by the water park, so that's fun. Uh, guys cutting grass, so we're gonna try and hustle. I'm just gonna try and lace this right through here. No, I'm gonna play the Anheuser out with this pure. Then we're gonna throw one underneath those trees. Get in a good position with the pure. There's another tee pad for this other hole, and it's actually like where you would wanna land. Yeah, I mean, you want to go past it, but... Oh, right at the tree, huh? Definitely rush there. I'm using that excuse for the bad throw. Oh, horrible spot for this shot now. We're going to 15's basket from 18's tee pad, if you weren't aware. Made it through. Oh, that's great. Oh, are we in the super tall stuff I gotta find? Ah. All right, I want to go with this Echo Star Destroyer. Hit that same area. Let it flip and just go way farther. Oh, the wind's super strong. Let's see what happens. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, that's a beaut. Oh, baby. It couldn't have been better than that. Let's go. In my last video, I talked about, I think it was last video or two videos ago, I'm not sure. Changing a bit of my form where on my reach back, I'm making sure my left shoulder is a bit higher than my right shoulder. And just that little change has been, for the most part, maybe not every shot in this video, it's been putting the disc in a better position if my nose angle's right. I think that's the, the main thing that helps that as well. If my nose angle's right, it's helping me get to here. And when I drop my arm down, my arm comes in and the disc is flat, actually. Versus when I was um, before, like, I would come in and I'd do the reach back and it'd be here. And I'd be like this, and there's that thing where it's like, it can't go through your body if you watch any form stuff. And then what would happen is I'd do this with my elbow, and then throw like this. And so, a lot of swooping shots, it's starting to fix that problem, and I'm just, I'm very happy about it. It's, this has actually made it easier to throw farther. We're jump putting again here. When I said I changed my jump putts, it was more like my step putt, like, this is actually like jumping, jumping. Oh, gosh, nose down. Why do I have an accent? Ah! Dang it. Uh, one, two, three, four. If this is a par five, it's got a birdie. So in the notes, it says six is 16's pin to 15's pin. No, it says asphalt by 16's pin to 15's pin. So that would mean we got to walk back kind of where I threw that long shot from to play to here again, which makes zero sense. I think he means asphalt by 15's pin to 14's pin. 
or here to what are we doing the more fun shot is going to 14's basket it's straight on this is like way open I think it's actually going to be more tough to play to 15 or, or, or sorry 16's pin we're doing that we're doing that the one on the hill all right so where we're actually going is up here to that basket on the hill uh, we do play that fence line is OB so that kind of makes it more tough but the real tough part is like this hill here that's kind of like in your way of throwing like if you wanted to throw hyzer you you gotta throw it really high sir I think I'm gonna go echo star destroyer again actually and throw it to like this way and let it do that flip and turn all the way over there pure first weird air bounce wow that thing kind of like it bounced and then dropped and just soared that was cool I think that's pin high. Let's see how long this is. 375 is what I believe. So this big tree, uh, where the arrow's at on screen, because I don't know how to describe it, is pretty much pin high, only closer because of geometry. It says 132, so that's like 396 there. It's just hard to hit this basket with the rangefinder. Rangefinder, I think, is giving it 135 in yards. Screwy die jobs gave me this when we shot a video together. It's a OTB open panic. I'm going to put it on a bit of Anheuser, let it fly up there. Uh, two nose up, so it didn't hold it long enough. Destroyer actually went a little long, just outside the circle here. Ah! I guess I get two since it's outside. Oh, the panic went long. I didn't think the panic made it past this tree based off of like what I saw. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Zach, I think the notes you left in the Facebook group, they're jacked. I think I know where it starts, though. I think when I played 18's, or no, no, yeah, yeah, 18's pad to that really long par 5, I think I was only supposed to go to 14's pin. Let's, get, let's say basket. That's way easier for me. Pad and pin, ugh. So I think 18's pad to 14's pin, and then the asphalt, asphalt by 14's pin to 15's. I'm saying pen, no, I just said it's a mess. I guess because I'm reading it. And then you actually play from 16 back to 14's basket, which there might be overlap there. That long hole, the last one I just did, is basically like if you swapped where you threw from to the other basket, that's what it would be. But this was cool too to have a couple different um, other options in here. We got two more holes, 18's pad to 10's basket. It's directly straight up through here. Uh, I'm just going to go... Heiser, well, I'm gonna throw this pure, but Heiser ish flat shot over this bridge. I, I believe you can see, unless these trees are in the way, and then let it crash in. This pure is actually gonna really help me judge what I should throw next. So I'm glad I, glad we're doing it this way. It's kind of fun. If you like this style of like a, a round playing nine holes, maybe not always alternate, where it's a little bit easier for me to just go bust it out uh, with the one disc that I'm reviewing, let me know if you like that. This isn't really a review though. If you came to this video for a peer review and you're like, tell me about it, sorry. That's not what this is for. I meant to mention that in the beginning. I did do a peer review though, so if you want to, you can go check it out and I think it was decent. I don't remember it. I didn't bag the disc, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's concrete there? It'd be cool if you guys played this like an island. You have to make it past the cart path. I, I like that. We're gonna go servo. Oh, I threw it a bit too high, No, it's actually perfect. Skip up. Oh! We're between the two trees right by the basket. I think if you wanted to, you could throw something over stable super hard, let it flex, and then come in like on the other side of the trees, but it's going to be way easier to hyzer it up like and just get close that way. Here's that other shot, though. Man, calling it and executing it feels so good. So I just decided that I'm going to gift this disc to the league for Sunday on the round I won't be here at. I'm gonna drop it off at Josh or Billy's house and then Zach, you can pick which hole on the alternate only that this is a CTP prize of. Make it a fun one. I personally think that three's pad to one's basket would be cool, but 
you pick whichever you want. This is going to be left over at Joshua Billy's and uh, they'll bring it up and be a CTP prize for, for the crew. Another cool hole to end this alternate video on. If you enjoyed this type of video for the review, give it a like. Helps out the channel. If you want to pick up a Kristen Tatar Pure like this one, or if you plan on ordering any disc online, use the link in the description. Go to Disc Golf Deals USA. They've been hooking it up. Very grateful for them. And if you do order something, again, let me know. It'd be fun to talk about discs. Maybe uh, send me a message on Instagram or or leave a comment with what you got. Hole 11's T-pad back here going to 9's basket. Beautiful little shot. We've played this for um, like tiebreaker CTPs before. I like it. We're going back in with the pure. We're going to forehand something else down there. Actually, I like the backhand throw. Let's do it with this ohm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's someone mowing grass. Did you get the ohm joke? I don't like the backhand anymore. It's too windy. Um, I think I'm throwing this resistor again. Forehand. Let's see what's the best. You good, camera? Yeah. I didn't move out of the way fast enough. Oh my! Dang, that's farther than it looks. How about this servo? I think the resistor was a good choice. I just didn't hang it out and put enough on it. We need to uh, give something a little bit more straight. Oh, branch. Chop that tree down. We're unloading the bag. Here's the fortress I've been throwing a little bit in this video. Dang, I feel like I'm gonna go too far. I'm just like being a baby. I'll flip up a crave here maybe. And smoke that tree, good gosh. Captain Raptor. Oh, there's kids coming over there, so it's fast. That's a good play. Gosh, dang, I'm throwing so short. You see this little gap that I just hit? I'm throwing so short. How far is this hole? We got an echo. We're going backhand. Into the trees. <laughs> oh, it's, fa it's fine now. What? That's a play. Okay, I know what to do now. We're taking this detour. Heiser flip turnover before the car comes. Told you. Drop down. Oh, that's long. Oh no, it wasn't hit the tree and it almost hit the basket pole thing. Let's try that again with uh, with an uplink. All right, sit down, sit down. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Anything else that would be good? Disc Golf Deals actually sent out this Prince, this Matteo Prince, 13503 Matteo Prince, West Side Prince. Let's give it a shot and we'll be done. What should I do with this disc? Cause I'm not real sure. Not that. So I was kind of rushing those last throws because of the kids that were coming over here. But when I got here, they were just, they ran over here just to watch me throw frisbees and I definitely let them down. 